Hey everyone, thanks for watching. This is my review of Pieces of a Woman. Okay, I should say right at the top, I haven't said this in my other reviews, but I am of the understanding that if you're going to watch a review of a movie online, then you've already seen the movie. If you haven't seen the movie, there's going to be spoilers, so don't watch if you don't want things to be spoiled. Um, but anyway, um, the other thing I want to mention is that there's a lot of names that we're going to go over here, and I apologize in advance for my terrible, um, ignorant pronunciation, um, especially for the creators of this movie. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. First off, I want to start with the things that I liked. Um, I really thought the acting was amazing from pretty much everyone involved, um, starting with Vanessa Kirby. She's the lead. Um, she definitely has announced herself as someone to watch. If she hadn't already done that in the last Mission Impossible movie, um, she was amazing in this. Um, the movie definitely revolves around her and her performance. Um, so right off the bat, that was great from, from beginning to end. But it really wasn't just um, Vanessa Kirby. Everyone involved in the movie on screen was amazing from um, the lead characters to people that were only on the screen for one or two scenes. Um, everyone did a great job. Obviously, Ellen Burstein, um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, she was unbelievable. She um, definitely could be considered for another Academy Award nomination. Um, she was um, just breathtaking in this movie with a very difficult, unlikable character. Definitely a character you're rooting against, uh, at least until near the climax. Um, she was great. Um, Sarah Snook, you know, definitely felt like she was underutilized because um, she was great. And um, if you've been watching um, Succession, you know what I'm talking about. She is just a joy to watch on screen. And then, of course, Shia LaBeouf, um, whatever you want to say about him, I don't, I don't want to say much <laughs> to compliment him um, based on you know everything that's going on off screen, but um, he definitely is a good actor. So the acting was just stellar from everyone involved and definitely a reason to watch this movie. And I expect um, there will be at least a few nominations coming out of it. Um, but um, I also want to shout out the, the direction. Um, there's the opening scene, the birth, that's the single take. That was well executed. Um, there's obviously a lot of um, thought and craft that went into the cinematography and the the different shots that they have like there's just like some of the most beautiful shots of people riding up and down elevators that you'll ever see and um, just makes New York City look really gorgeous um, I especially like the it, I don't know if you notice this and and I can't remember I'd have to rewatch but I'm pretty sure the opening shot and the closing shot were both of the same bridge it it may it may not be that it was the exact opening and closing shot, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it was. And then throughout, we're always seeing the same bridge. And it took me a while to realize that that was the bridge that um, Shia LaBeouf's character was building um, during the, the movie that um, we were watching as it was getting closer and closer to completion. And then, of course, um, the end of the movie takes place on the bridge again. So it started on the bridge, ended on the bridge. Um, metaphor alert. Um, so I, I, I really like the direction, um, but that brings me to what was a pretty significant flaw. I, I was very underwhelmed by the script, and um, while I'm praising the, the filmmakers for um, the direction and for eliciting these great performances, they were also the ones um, that wrote the movie. It was directed by Cornell Morkazka. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I'm just going to put it up on screen. Um, he's the director. His wife, Kata Weber. Um, again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, she wrote it. It was based on a play that they had um, written and produced um, about an incident from their own life when, when they lost a child. And so... Um, you know, you don't want to criticize someone who's um, taken such a personal tragedy and turned it into art 
Um, but I do feel like I was underwhelmed by the script and the story, and I don't feel like it was worthy of the performances that it engendered because it just, like, for I don't even know where to start, but let's start with some of the story choices. Right off the bat, you have Sean and Martha. They're this couple. They're having a child. And at no point, at no point did I think that they were right for each other. It just seemed obvious that <laughs> they were um, not... Um, they had different backgrounds. They didn't, and it doesn't have to do with the economic problems, but maybe it does. I don't know. But it just was... They just didn't seem to fit personality-wise. And that isn't to say that that kind of couple couldn't work. It's just the movie gave us no reason to think it would work. It gave us nothing to suggest that it would work, except perhaps photographs on the refrigerator that showed, oh, they at one point were happy together. Um, but um, while there were a couple touching moments between them, there was nothing about it to give us a reason to think that they belong together, that they, despite the odds, despite the family um, problems, whatever it was, there was nothing that made us think that they were together. So when their marriage fell apart, it was anticlimactic. It was just, it was, of course, it was going to fall apart. That was so obvious. And so, um, so that was a problem. And so it wasn't a movie about the dissolution of this marriage in the face of tragedy because how it was always going to dissolve and, and we don't really get any insight into why it was dissolving or it just was anyone watching it was probably like yeah that marriage was never going to last and so the we don't have the stakes and like trying to save the marriage like oh you know why are you doing this you're it's never going to work it's like of course it's not going to work and so and so that was a big problem for me another big problem for me is the movie is called pieces of a woman but really the movie isn't about her even though she's throughout the movie and it's it's supposed to be focused on her, she's almost a, a secondary character or a supporting character in her own movie because it's really about how all the other people in her life are responding to this tragedy and trying to deal with her. And it's about their struggles and how they're dealing with it. And so while I do think that one of the points of the movie was to show her isolation after this tragedy and we see every step of the way like it's people reacting to her it's not her reaction it's not how she's dealing with it it's how are the people around her dealing with it and and making it more difficult for her and forcing her to become more isolated and so i get all that but it's the movie's called pieces of woman and we're not getting pieces of her we're just it's, it's all these other people. We're seeing these other people grow and deal with and, um, and react to the, the things that are happening in the movie. We don't see how she's reacting. Um, and I guess the idea is that she's frozen. She's like you know, refusing to feel, understandably so. But uh, we're not getting any insight into her journey, her growth. We're just seeing her struggle. And of course it's a struggle, but this is not the first movie to deal with this kind of tragedy or this exact tragedy, the loss of a child. And so I feel like it needs to bring something to the table. It needs to give us something new. And it seems so removed from her experience. And just we're just seeing her you know, kind of go inside and be unable to deal with, but not actually have, we're not getting those moments of dealing with it. We see a few fights where she just retreats inside and, and that's it. And so, and so the point is when we get to this climax in the court scene and she has her big speech, which is a beautiful speech and a beautiful moment, it feels divorced from this movie. We don't know how she got there. You know, the only reason we know that she got to this point is because she went and she saw the pictures that were taken of the birth. She got those developed and she sees those. And it's like, oh, now she is able to go up and say, you know, her experience and let people know what she thinks. 
that's it. And so I could go on and on, but I, I think you understand where I'm coming from. This is my opinion. Maybe other people would have a different experience with it. Maybe if you've lost a child or faced this kind of tragedy, you would have a different reaction or have a better understanding of what this movie is trying to accomplish. I'm lucky to never have had that happen to me. And so, and so maybe this movie isn't for me, but I just feel like it's not giving us enough about her experience other than to just say it sucks and you're all alone in your grief and time heals all wounds as they as they say in the movie it's cliche in the movie but it's almost like well that's the only thing we get from it is that yeah at some point you're going to be able to move on unless you can't and so that brings me to one final point we have Sean's character um, who it just he just leaves and so maybe again the movie is supposed to show that she's being abandoned again in her time of need and he wasn't able to give her what she needed or they couldn't give each other what they needed or whatever it is but then he just leaves and that's it we don't get any resolution with that I guess, I guess that is the resolution that he just leaves and and it seems pretty bleak for him and we don't know if he will ever overcome it and maybe by going to a new place he will but that's a different movie and and that's fine but again we got more of his experience than we got of hers we saw more of his struggle and his attempts to, I'm not going to say to overcome his his spiral out of control. We got that much more than we got her struggles, and and saw how she was handling it or not handling it. And so again, it's just like if the if the movie is more focused on him, and then he just leaves, and that's it, and we don't get any resolution, then that doesn't feel right. And so I just feel like it doesn't handle these characters and this subject matter in the way it deserves, especially given the great performances. Yeah, so I don't often like to, to get on here and review movies I don't like, Lord of the Rings accepted, but um, because there was so many things that I did like about the movie, it just felt like that much more disappointing that this element, the, the, the story and the script just didn't live up to that, you know, high standard that was set in other parts of the movie. It's a pretty big disappointment. And so it does feel like a missed opportunity. I'm not um, unhappy that I saw it. There are some things that are probably going to stick with me for a long time. That opening scene um, was amazingly done. Um, and I, I do want to say one more thing about that. Um, I went in not knowing... Um, how that birth was going to go out. The only thing I knew about the movie was that it had Shia LaBeouf and Vanessa Kirby and that it had this, you know, amazing opening birth scene. And so I didn't know, I knew it was a possibility that it was going to end tragic, but I had no indication one way or the other. So I was on edge and I, you know, I didn't know, like, it's like, oh, it's not, it's going to be tragic. And I'm like, oh no, it, it worked out. And then, so it hit me pretty hard. And so you know, that was great. And it's just unfortunate that the rest of the movie didn't live up to that great opening. Um, not great, <laughs> great piece of filmmaking and obviously very tragic opening. So, um, yeah, so that is my review. Um, let me know how you felt about it. Um, I definitely would like to hear from some people that um, really enjoyed it all the way around. Why did you? What did you like about it? What connected with you about the characters and their journey? Um, feel free to, to yeah, leave some comments. Um, otherwise, thanks for tuning in and hopefully I'll see you again. Mm -hmm.